All my stuff's in bags. Pardon? All my stuff is in bags. Yeah, it is. I'll come out and get it for you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Like it? Saved off my beard. <laughs> um, wanted to talk about something today. Uh, I briefly uh, discussed it in a previous video, and then I actually pulled, ended up pulling that video down off of YouTube. And the reason was, is after I um, uh, researched it further, I saw I was uh, totally wrong. And that was the subject of receipt refusal at Walmart. And um, so... I'm going to talk about it again. A disclaimer here. I'm not a lawyer. And this uh, video is only for entertainment values. So um, if you do anything you see in this video, do it at your own risk. Um, in my past video, what I said was um, that you, once you pay, purchased your uh, merchandise at the checkout, it was your property and the... Uh, uh, the Constitution applies, and they're not allowed to search your property after it becomes your property. And and you have the right to just refuse to go through their uh, receipt, uh, their demands to see a receipt. And you can just walk right out, you know. And um, I actually had a few videos of me doing that. Well, turns out I was wrong. And here's why. <clears throat> there's what's known, and this has been on the laws for years and years and years. Uh, there's what's known as the shopkeeper's uh, privilege law. And what that is, is if a shopkeeper has reasonable, reasonable is, is uh, usually defined as, and any normal person would... Um, look at the totality of the circumstances and, and come to the same conclusion. Reasonable suspicion that somebody is stealing from their shop, the shopkeeper has the right to detain you, ask to see uh, inside uh, your coat, your, your um, handbags, your pockets, if they think... Uh, these are the locations where you might be hiding property that's been stolen. And what this law allows them to do is actually to be able to stop people um, reasonably and, and if need be, detain them for the police to show up. <clears throat> and that's been a law. And there's been a lot of people actually try to fight Walmart and lose because they thought they had a constitutional right and and it was unreasonable search and seizure. Well, yeah, but in uh, this situation the, uh, where a merchant has reasonable suspicion that you might be stealing from their store, they have the right to stop you and detain you and ask to to look inside uh, areas where you might be hiding that property. And these people that have have come up against them have come up and lost. And, and the way Walmart gets it, you see, what, Walmart, what any merchant has to have, they have to have probable cause. And that probable cause is when they see uh, somebody on their premises behaving in a way that's not normal to normal behavior and that and that way that they're behaving has to be in a way that is commonly normal for somebody who's stealing in other words if um somebody's walking backwards that's not normal right if you see somebody walking through walmart backwards that's not normal but that doesn't constitute probable cause just because it's not normal. 
it's not associated with stealing. Now, if you see somebody's eyes darting back and forth, constantly looking to see who's watching, who's, you know, who's, who, you know, is anybody, is it anybody that works here around, you know, and they're, they're more interested in where people are in the store than looking at uh, good buys in the store, right? So that's, that's suspicious. And then um, coupled with that, if they see them um, appear to put something inside their coat or conceal it inside a bag or uh, in an area, you know, they see these, uh, it's the totality of these things that would lead any reasonable person to suspect that a crime is being committed, then they, they have probable cause to stop and detain you. And, and some merchants have actually even um, hired um, loss prevention security officers that that's what they do. They dress up in um, plain clothes. They walk through the store acting like shoppers and they look for shoplifters. <clears throat> well, Walmart has <coughs> kind of skirted the, the Constitution by setting up this policy where they check receipts at the door. Uh, now, apparently they're not checking every single person that goes out the door. They're not checking all their receipts. What their policy is, is if you are trying to go out the door in, with something in your cart that's not bagged, like say you got a big uh, twelve pack of, of uh, pop or beer or whatever you know, or you've got um, a big bag of dog food or or something that, that doesn't fit in a bag, then they will stop you and ask to see your receipt. Now, here's the thing: they can ask you anything. They could say, "Can you stand on one foot and sing the national anthem?" That I mean, they're allowed to ask anything, okay? Um, but of course, they keep it. Um, they keep it to you know the the subject at hand, and it's this thing that they do is they ask, ask, can I see your receipt? They don't say, show me your receipt. Or they shouldn't. Um, normally, they they ask, can I see your receipt, please? Um. Now, from that point on, here's how they get you. Okay, a normal, a normal person who has nothing to hide would just show them their receipt, right? Uh, that's the norm that they have established. A normal person would show their receipt. A thief, what would he do? He would not have a receipt, correct? So he would not show the receipt. So now what have they got? They've got probable cause. They've caught you doing something that's not normal. And it's also doing something that is common with criminal activity. You see where I'm going with this? So up until the point that they ask you at the door, can I see your receipt you, that you haven't given them probable cause? The next words out of your mouth from that point on will give them probable cause. And, and they figure there's only two replies, yes or no, right? They figure that's the only, can I re see a receipt? It's either a yes question or a no question. If you say no, now they've established probable cause and have the right, if they want, to use... A, if they, they have the manpower and the strength to do it, they can try and detain you and call the police and force you to show them receipt. So, <clears throat> in the video, you saw me, um, what I did is I intentionally went through the self-checkout, okay? I don't go through the uh, <clears throat> let the clerks check me out thing anymore, and I'll tell you why. The reason is because when you're in one of those self-checkout lines, you can take all the time you want. You can spend, you know, if you want to spend 30 minutes bagging up your stuff, you can. And here's what I have discovered is if 
<clears throat> their policy is to check everyone going out the door with something that's not in a bag. Don't go out the door with something that's not in a bag. Now, <clears throat> you say, well, how can you do that when you got like a big 44 pound of dog food? Well, you saw in my video, um, I had this big 44 pound bag of dog food on, on the bottom of the cart. And I literally shoved one of their Walmart bags over the very end and shoved it up. Uh, on there and I mean it just barely fit and it was bursting at the seams but technically it's in a bag right and you saw the guy he's like can I see your receipt and I said uh sir everything in my bag I mean everything in my car is bagged you said that dog food's not and yeah I said uh, yes it is sir it's back and he looked again and saw that bag shoved on it and you saw his response he said Okay, sir, uh, go ahead. <laughs> now, <clears throat> you notice what I didn't say. I didn't say no to that question. I didn't say yes to that question. He asked me to see a receipt. I said, everything in my cart is bagged. Can I see a receipt? Everything in my cart is bagged. That's all I'm going to say is every time they ask me that question, I don't have to say yes. But I also don't have to say no. I can say everything in my cart is bagged. And that's, in a way, that's a, a response to their question. But what you're not doing is giving them probable cause. Because I haven't told them no. Now I had the whole thing on video. So if they tried to say I refused to show a receipt, I'd say clearly at no time did I re refuse to show a receipt. I just kept saying everything in my car is bagged. And you saw what he did. I hope that helps. That's a, a legal way, I believe, that you can refuse to show your receipt at Walmart and not be hassled. Just make sure everything you got, I don't care how big it is, shove part of it in a bag. Just make that bag visible as you're going out the door. <clears throat> and they can't stop you. Their, their policies stop anybody going out the door with something that's not in a bag. If all your stuff is in a bag. That's all you have to say. All my stuff is in a bag. If they make an issue out of it and try to detain you, now you have reason to show they detained you without probable cause because now you never refused... To show your receipt, you were responding to their policy, and now they've got themselves in some deep water, and I, I would guess that that would actually open them up to a, a real um, class action. So, anyways, hope you liked the video. Have a blessed day in Jesus. Uh, all my stuff's in bags. Pardon? All my stuff is in bags. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'll come out and get it for you. Just take her to where you